Hello everyone, I'm John, this is Sean. All right. And this is Everyday Food Reviews. Today, to celebrate our one year of being on YouTube, <laughs> we're doing something a little bit different. Um, we had a comment saying that we should review the double cheese, double quarter pounder again. Yeah. Well, it was a comment saying we should review it. I think it was probably someone who wasn't aware that we'd reviewed it already. Yeah, which, as you remember, it was we reviewed it in our very first video, or some of you will remember. Mm -hmm. Alder, we've already spoke, uh, sorry, there's already videos saying, explaining that I'm on doing a keto diet, so I can't really try a double quarter pounder. Mm -hmm. And also, to say, so, and as we did a Christmas special to celebrate our like YouTube birthday, <laughs> we thought, do something a bit different and we will do a reaction video to our first ever video because i think both me and sean believe that we've come a long way since day one yeah i think so i think we've made some positive improvements oh definitely and... in terms of video production quality <laughs> uh, different cameras and setups that we've used it's all relative i think relative to this i think we're a lot better yeah, and then also just like confidence in front of the camera. Yeah. Um, just just, just little things. And yeah, people may or may not notice that certain things are uniformed because <laughs> I'm a bit of an, I've got a bit of an OCD with uniform and stuff. Mm -hmm. You've got OCD with like production quality and audio quality and that's what you'll notice. Well, I wouldn't say OCD as much as I'd just rather things were better <laughs> than worse. <laughs> so so yeah, uh, we thought we'd do this, and it'd be quite, it might be quite funny. Yeah, we'll 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 see how it goes. Yeah, um, we'll probably cut out all the boring bits that we don't like. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame we didn't do that. Think of that before we did this first video. Yeah, <laughs> but like, again, that's something else. That, you know, even like video production, it's like you've learned new stuff on how to edit videos. Yeah, everything we wanted to do, I've had to look up how to do and thought, I feel like we've learned a fair bit. Absolutely. A stone or something up. Yeah, if we do a reaction video, we'll be officially YouTubers then as well. So that'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> so happy birthday to us. And let's see how bad we were 12 months ago. Yeah. Hi everybody, I'm John, this is Sean. Hi. And this is Everyday Food Reviews. Welcome to our first video. So you, Today we are... You you wrote the intro before we even did this first video. And you did you, you did your little thing with your, your hand right. gesture. All right. And I told you what to say. Yeah, you said, uh, how's that? And I said, yeah, it's all right. And, and then we go to do the first video. I have one word to say as the <laughs> intro. And I'll get it wrong. <laughs> and you're wearing sunglasses. What's wrong with wearing sunglasses? It was sunny. You look like Stevie Wonder. <laughs> I, I think there's a, a few small differences between me and Stevie Wonder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Reviewing two of McDonald's main staples. A Big Mac meal. Prepared. Now I've got a double quarter pounder with cheese. Now we know the double quarter isn't the main staple, but the main burger is. So I love the contradiction. Should be off. <laughs> uh, the reason we're viewing re reviewing McDonald's, like we know, everybody's going to have a good idea of what McDonald's is like and what we're talking about. Um, but there's, like, there's a squeal with the audio there. Yeah, we weren't using a mic. I don't think we were. No, we, we we were using a mic. We had the same mic that we're using now. But we, we, we were using my DSLR camera. Oh, yeah, when, yeah, yeah. when we had the idea, you know, I said, well, if, if we do do some videos, we won't have to buy anything because I've got, I've got a nice expensive camera and a nice expensive lens and we, we can do that. And yeah. then when we did that, and... Also, it, quickly, I have a nice expensive watch that I wore for like one video. <laughs> Never wore again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, yeah. Yeah, I thought... I thought we'd use the camera, but then it's it's a DSLR camera. It's not one that's made for video. It's a Canon EOS 6D if you're into cameras, but it doesn't have a flippy out screen. So trying to do a video in the car, 
and trying to get it focused. You can see that's why the focus oh. is like three feet behind us instead of on us. And the exposure is all out of whack because it's not got the dynamic range. Do you remember trying to set it up? Yeah. We were like, I was moving it on the dash of my car and you're on the outside of my car looking through the windscreen. Yeah. <laughs> Try- yeah. Wow. It was- the move to a phone was the best decision we made. Yeah. We- and luckily we made it after our like second or third video. Yeah, I think we just did two with, with the camera and then we started using the iPhone instead and it, it's improved. The sort of validity of the review is based on the fact that when we're doing reviews in the future, we're going to be using McDonald's as a benchmark review score. So um, See that? We, we're coming into this. I maintain that's a uh, nice idea. Expecting to give it a 5 out of 10, planning on giving it a 5 out of 10. So that no. in the future, when we review something, if we give it more than a 5, we can say, if you find this place, like you say, it was just like everything, well, most things, because it isn't McDonald's, is better than McDonald's. Yeah. And likewise, we were still rating other things from McDonald's. Yeah. So we're saying, oh, this, uh, the Big Tasty from McDonald's is better than McDonald's. So yeah, it, it just, it didn't. And then you get an incredible <laughs> kebab and you're like, yeah, this is, this is the same score as a Big Tasty. <laughs> Because it's better than the rest of McDonald's, but it's on par. Yeah, it just didn't. It didn't pan out the way we wanted it to. But right. we've like we're addressing that, and it'll turn out okay. Yeah, go there instead of McDonald's because everywhere you go, it's going to be a McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. That light is not a bad score. If you know the queen, the rear like uh, is it vanity light? Uh, it's a vanity mirror, and it, yeah, it's it's like the rear seat light in my car. I had a really bad, like, quality LED, and it just kept flashing on and off. No, five, it's, the reason we've given it pretty much everything on a five for McDonald's is because it's good, it, it's usually pretty good and very consistent. Yeah, it's, it's so consistent and it's... And if we give it lower than a five, if we give it lower than a five, then you're probably just better off finding the nearest McDonald's, in, in our opinion. Um, no, I, still, I still think that's a good yeah, idea. It's so just, you know, no one's recommended it somewhere yeah. that's worse than McDonald's to us. Like, no, no one would do that. Yeah, which is what we, yeah, which is what we said about when, when we've addressed that recently. We've just said, well, no one's going to recommend something to us that's bad. Yeah. So it's, it's like almost pointless. Yeah. So I've got the dual quarter, guys. It is just a normal quarter pounder, but with an extra burger and an extra slice of cheese. Nutritional information is bringing this in at 750 calories for the actual burger. So, it's, what about what did we say about 232 more than the normal quarter? That's yeah, nice. and it's got um, nice about 50 yeah. grams of protein <laughs> versus about 30 on the normal quarter pounder. Okay. Um, we're hoping to be able to flash up the nutritional information on the screen if we can work out how to do that. In yeah. Editing. We, we, um, we did work out how to do it, just doesn't down there. look um, very somewhere. good, but it's, it's there. Should have been more prepared. <laughs> um, I think that's something we need to remember to do more yeah, often so going got, forward. So 232 more calories. The independent places we go to, you don't, you don't know. You just never know, know are you? But it just, it just feels like a long time since we've done that, but it's a long time since we've done McDonald's. Anything from an establishment that has yeah. to follow those rules of declaring. Yeah. And obviously, more fat, more protein, um, similar similar carbs, more and uh, similar salt. Yeah. Um, Personally, I would always go for more of a quarter than a Big Mac, like Sean's gone for, because I prefer more meat and, than the bread. Um, I personally, anyway, I don't know about how you feel. But well, a Big Mac comes with um, lettuce and cheese and it, an extra half of bun in Is this the, the classic line? There's a I'll comment coming a up, more I think. Filling and I don't think there's anything I think that any fast food restaurant does that compares to the Big Mac sauce. Uh, that's just a personal favourite of mine. Um, can't find. I've tried to replicate it at home. I've tried uh, Wimpy sauce, uh, Burger King. Don't. Just don't know what do my hands. <laughs> I'm looking at everywhere. Like, well, what am I looking at as well? I'm like, what? <laughs> um, so I'll tend to lean towards a Big Mac if I'm getting a meal. You're thinking the next, of uh, your next line. A quarter pounder. Uh, so, sorry, a double cheeseburger. Classic. Because it's one pound fifty nine. The understatement. Uh, that's probably in my. The junk, the classic junk. What in twenty nineteen? 
Period. See, I'm not a massive lover of like salad and stuff. Yes. But I'd always tend to, if I was going to spend 159. <laughs> See, I think that this happens in a lot of videos. Um, I, I'm trying to concentrate on the video and John just says something outlandish and I just completely no, Blank. no sell it. So he said that, if he'd have said that in normal conversation, I'd have said, that's a bit of an understatement, isn't it, John? <coughs> um, but he said that in the video, and I'm just like concentrating on the video. And as soon as we finished the video, I think I said to you, did you say during that video, <laughs> I'm not a massive lover of salad and stuff, when what you actually mean is, I will not eat a single vegetable. <laughs> Under any circumstances. <laughs> yeah. Probably just getting a double cheeseburger. Yeah. Or something like that. The, the Big Mac does have a lot of that as well. Yeah. But, well, depending on who makes it and what day of the week it is. Sean, can I just to put these wonders down a little bit? It's getting quite hot. <laughs> it was <laughs> roasting one. It, it was, was like a rare hot day in September. <laughs> yeah. Just putting them all the way down. I don't think it matters. Okay. I don't, I don't that was see. a mistake because of what happens. I don't know if that's more background noise, but we'll have a look. It probably is. <laughs> we'll have a look. We'll have a look. We'll have a look. We'll have a look. And we'll, we'll make it better for next time. Anyway. It's our first video. It's yeah. our first time recording. It's our first time editing. It's not our first time eating McDonald's. Mm -hmm. but no, surprisingly, no. <laughs> surprisingly, no. That's all true. That was. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think um, we, we will do a lot of reviews in the car because I feel like a lot of people on lunches, especially, are going to be eating in the car. Mm -hmm. Again, um, that, was you know, that was another yeah, great idea. Yeah. It just didn't quite pan out like that. No, because it was just when... I live less than a mile away from McDonald's. Mm. And there's been plenty of videos in my kitchen and it's just more comfortable to come come back to the house, unbox it, yeah, you know, and have a proper look at something. When you're trying to unbox something, like Sean, like Sean mentioned, there was that much salad on the Big Mac. Yeah. You can't be unboxing it and like throwing it around the car to show the camera because it's just going to go everywhere. Yeah. Whereas in the kitchen, at least you can get it and it's just more manageable. It's it's better better framed for the video as well because yeah, you know, with, with the with it in the car, you can only see it in the frame when you're holding it and eating it. When you put it down on your lap, you can't see it anymore. No. It's, it's just I think it makes a less compelling video. I do a lot of our reviews just as if it's food on the go, like what people are going to do for the lunch, but we, we have got other plans for the future on me as well, so. Yeah, also the, the food's going to go cold enough while we're setting up the camera <laughs> and giving this spiel at the start of each video, so if, if we add in that, the drive that home would have been drive to somewhere that's if we were still using the camera, the McDonald's using the car phone, park, get set up, um, yeah, it's going to be even colder. And, and also we were set up, yeah, usually we'd set up, <laughs> right, let's get then go get food, then come back, then it's just a case of throwing my phone on the the, the mount. Yeah. I was so conscious of eating. <laughs> That's why the box is here. It was like, I was just so nervous eating on camera and, you know, showing the world how I eat a burger on camera. It, just idiot. The world. I think that's a bit optimistic. It was like four of our mates. Look at me! It's like a big secret. A big match So I just, I love the, uh, just the, the juicy meaty taste that you get on a, on a double plant. Mm. Also, just to point out to people, like we've had plenty of comments saying, oh, why does someone dig in first? And I think we've addressed this in other yeah. videos, but then when we watched this back first time, we were like, we can't both eat the burger or eat at the same time. It's just that. Because there's just dead noise then, and you're just watching two fat blokes chewing food. Yeah. So it's like, it's easier. And that's, again, that's why we've got, I don't know, I don't think the drinks we, we did it from the start because it's a bit not, it was not more normal to do. Yeah. Someone to talk while, while drinking and it kind of, we've carried that over into the food reviews because then it means like I can dig in. Sean keeps talking about something. I usually find something to Then talk tells about. me, then tells me, or then asks me what are my first thoughts. That then gives Sean a great cue to then dig in himself. Yeah. And bring, come up with his own thoughts after I've told mine. So we're not cutting across each other either. Yeah. Um, so also, I've, I've had a, a few people mention. I know my, my mate Tom um, watches some of the videos. Except he says he, he puts them on at work and just listens to them. 
So I'm, I'm yeah. So I'm again, aware, it's that dead thing. noise. So it's like if, if somebody's just listening to it, it's like they're not even like watching us chew. Like they, they can probably tell yeah. that we're both eating, but I mean that's just space. Yeah, like exactly. Happening. That's and, why when I do the videos on my own, I'll take the bits where I'm just chewing and I'll speed it up, um, so that so that there's like. Less dead, for, dead space, dead yeah. noise, like kind of, but yeah. There is a man, you know, yeah. <laughs> I think in terms of texture as well, the lettuce adds a lot. Uh, I don't think there's any other. Yeah. Probably cut some of these bits out and he's just watching well, yeah. the video and not saying anything. <laughs> mm. just, or just speed it up. Just speed it up, then, then you know we've not, like, Cut anything out, just speed it up because it's a bit. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, <laughs> how much was your meal? Um, I'm oh. not sure. I didn't pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> Did we get a receipt? I don't. It was. It was ten pounds. <laughs> <laughs> what a massive problem with doing stuff in the car is because Sean's like more. Because you're you're more like factually based, because of like your background in like like science and stuff. It's like when we go to somewhere like that and we get something and we like a receipt, so then we can we've got proof of something. So many times I'd be just like not take the receipt <laughs> from the drive through or whatever because it'd just be like yeah it's fine yeah because I you know just don't need I don't need to be carrying receipts around with me. And then Sean's like, did you get a receipt? And I'm like, no. Nope. Well, I'll ask you. Oh, like, how much was that? And I was how like, was it? You'll be like, I don't know. And I'll say, have you got a receipt? You'll be like, <laughs> and you'll be like, idiot. And then, yeah, we put the windows down and there, and there's the issue. Someone started cutting a tree. Something all together. It's ten pound fifty nine. Okay. Can you, do you want? Me? If I give you the mic, give you the receipt. Sorry about the roasting, guys. I've not got yeah, the receipt. Yeah. I think it might have been with you. Apologise for it. It's about four pounds. Cut it out. Like three, yeah. Um, for a medium meal, and then it's it was an extra <laughs> few pence because I've got a uh, full fat coke. Yeah, full sugar coke. Um, <laughs> uh, just a regular coke rather than a diet one. Um, the reason I did that, I would usually get a Coke Zero, but um, a lot of people say that McDonald's Coke tastes different or better to regular coke and i've always sort of dismissed that and thought yeah it's all in your head but i found out recently that mcdonald's do yeah, or should head. actually um use a higher syrup concentration when they're making their um coca-cola um than most other restaurants or yeah, than it's I found uh, that standard out. In the well, like I said, so before bottles, we did the video, and um, I thought we're doing a video on McDonald's. Quite interesting, and they, oh, they do I'll that. share that information because that that's, that's a good anecdote to add. Well, it's, it's not an anecdote; it's a fact. All right. Oh, whatever. Uh, so I thought I'd, I'd share that. That's really interesting, and then that's like the only time I've done that. I've never done that in a video since. But I mean, that's something that I'd like to do is share something actually interesting that could maybe sort of enrich someone's knowledge or something, but. You know, I had, I had one fact and I spent it. <laughs> We're halfway through. Um, We're halfway. Obviously, at uh, greater expense to themselves, uh, but they're aware that the ice waters down the drink and it just um, separates them just a little bit. So the thing that I thought was uh, psychosomatic is actually accurate. Um, talk, talking about the... Yeah, um, cut there. We cut yeah, the, yeah, the, the calories. Um, <laughs> I usually get my meals. I, don't, I, I think don't. we were looking for something like either sauce or. Oh no, that comes later. Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, I read your fries, um, which come in at three hundred and thirty-seven calories. Most of that, obviously, being carbs, and them having surprisingly low amount of salt. It says zero point six two grams of salt. Um, compared to that, does sound pretty low. Yeah, compared to the Big Mac itself, it's maybe that's maybe that's before they add the salt. It might be so in cooking and production. If you ask for it with no salt, it's got that much salt. Yeah. Point three. So the Big Mac. We didn't think about the time as much salt as a medium fries, which are just carbs and salt. 
Um, we can fact, get there's a lot of fat in the salad. Salad. It used to be called a shaker salad, and it would come in a cup, and you'd add the dressing and shake it up. But now, I don't know how they serve it, because I haven't got it since they've changed it. But they I think when it. I've been on the, the, the screens, yeah. and I'm looking... And, you know, when you add them the sides, it does still then come up as a cup, or it did like a week or two ago. So. Yeah, well, they changed this recently. It's coming up as um, sides. Salad. They show it. They call it a side salad, and it's um, in a bowl or a cardboard tray. When I say <laughs> online media, um, so I don't know how that more box. Works. It's still Where's still the, doing the same did, thing they did with the shaker. Did you notice I, I said I've not had the salad recently? Um, <clears throat> like between you and me and the audience. You never had the salad. No, w- w- what I meant by that was the one time I did have it, it was in the shaker cup. And I say like, <laughs> I've not had it since they changed it. I've, I've had it once and it, w- it, it was in a yeah, shaker. Yeah. Nice. For, for me personally, when I'm at McDonald's, anyway, if I've already made the decision to go to McDonald's, I'm not really thinking that much about the calories of it. Yeah. But uh, some people might do. Um, I have been recently, like when I've yeah, if I've been going out, I'm not, instead of going, you know, just all out, and just get like a three to five hundred calorie meal, just just start to get in the wraps. Yeah, it's just and easier. Do, do you know, just get a wrap on its own. Like, yeah. So I've been like, like a large burger and diet coke or something. Not even that. I've just been like because I've, I've been drinking a lot more water and stuff with it being summer, and I've yeah. just ended up going to like McDonald's and just getting the chicken and bacon barbecue wrap. Mm-hmm. It's five hundred calories. Yeah, and does that fill you up? Yeah, because, you know, it's, it's one of them. It's some people, <laughs> people don't like always going all out for the lunch. Then, you know, Pointless you know, stories. Point. Is that what I asked? I'm quite tired of the drink, so I'm trying to does that fill you up. I did say it, yeah. Does it, it, yeah. Does it fill you up? Some, some people yeah. don't like going all out. <laughs> I said, yeah. <laughs> it's a lunch at least. Yeah. How much is one of those wraps called? Um, oh, it's normally two nine nine. Or if it's wrap of the day, which I think on that day is Tuesday and Saturday for the chicken and barbecue. It's changed now one, as well. It's one nine nine. So, yeah. um, I think yeah. Going back to prices, we didn't, we didn't talk about my I think Matt, this is three ninety nine just for the sandwich. Yeah. So I don't. I don't. You know. I don't get the meal because I'd rather avoid the, the chips. And Probably as well. Chips five fifty or something for a meal. Yeah. Maybe close to six pound. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, uh, again, if we can work out how to edit the videos, we'll find out how much these actually. John and his loose pricing. Yeah, star, yeah, little, little <laughs> correction star in the bottom corner with a uh, well, some, price. Something that hmm? confused me for the longest time. I didn't know that the McDonald's near your house is a franchise. Yeah. It's, it's so it's more expensive than everything. So I think we've done one of the Great Taste of the World videos, and we kept the receipt. And I'd, I'd put the prices up. And, and didn't you have one like a few days before from near your house and it was a different price? It, something happened. Something I saw, proper I bothered the, you. I saw the actual price and I changed the description and put a pinned comment on and said, the, the price I mentioned in the video is wrong. This is the actual price. It's 20p different. The, no, the price we said was right. It's just the McDonald's near John is different. Yeah, it was twenty p more than this franchise one. Yeah, it, well, yeah. So the, that that's proper some, bombage, yeah. It did because I wasn't. I didn't know what was going on because I was like, I could have sworn that was four seventy nine, but it's, it says four fifty nine, and you know that that was going on for ages. Um, so the double quarter is limited time only as well. It's twenty fourth of September. It, not anymore. Was well, it permanent now? Apparently, I've seen. I've, <laughs> it's a loose, it's, it's a loose comment from John that maybe no, I, I'm going past the you know like the posters and yeah. it says here to stay. Okay, I will have a closer look at these for some print at the bottom, but it does say here to stay. Okay, which says to me it's not leaving. Yeah, and, and obviously they've recently released the triple cheeseburger, which is just double with an extra burger. We'll have to find out if that's it to stay now. Mm-hmm. I think it was. Twenty fourth of September. Was it twenty fourth of September? Uh, that's what you told me. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's available till the twenty fourth of September. Yeah. It is worth pointing out that, that my local McDonald's here is a franchise, and I I have been aware that they've done this all year, pretty much, and for a lot longer. Well, yeah, a lot longer. I think a lot of the time, if you just ask them to do something, they'll 
do it. But it cut can be fairly. Not, not a lot of. I've asked them to do a franchise for like a double quarter and they won't do them. Well, okay. Spoke about. So, so yeah. Why we knew. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come back to this franchise at least. I don't know if they're going to continue it after the 24th of September. Um, I have asked the, like, the staff, but we're not too sure. So. We'll see what happens at the end of the promotion. I might just go in one day and just see if they'll do it. Never did. Yeah. Uh, was on that to that point. work at McDonald's. There's uh, this rumoured, very poverty special menu. Se- secret menu. Secret menu. Uh, if you know anything about that, let us know and we'll, we'll see what we can do. No one uh, ever did. <laughs> Obviously, no one from McDonald's wants to watch McDonald's yeah, videos. I, I've always Let's thought that this um, was on there and you can get the, the, the Mega Mac on there. Where I think Riley said much? he worked there. I give you. Yeah. Oh. Really like with it. Um, he's probably not seen this one though. Yeah. Yes. Go ahead. Um, I'm just eating the fries with the curry sauce. That I yeah. was so proud of that yeah. cut. The McDonald's fry. I was so proud of that one when I did it. I thought that's hilarious. That will make everyone laugh for looking for the curry sauce, and then uh, I found it, and uh, I've just cut out me faffing around, and I've got some excellent comedic time in there. I was I was so pleased with that. Like nothing else mattered. The terrible, horrendous audio didn't matter. The fact that we've blown out the highlights and the, the crushed the shadows on there in the same frame didn't matter. Um, I, I was really proud of that little cut there. <laughs> and that, I think I think um, when we showed it to our mates when we first put it on YouTube, because obviously at the time it's only our friends who were watching it. Um, Alex said, "Oh, I like that little cut." Like when you were looking for the source, I was like, yes. <laughs> <It's still laughs> so it's not hard to say they're, they're crispy, they're salty, they're, they're nice fries. Um, they're probably better than most sort of independent uh, takeaways and kebab shops that you can mm-hmm. find. Uh, find a lot of their fries tend to be very dry. That's, that's something that, that, has, that, that has bothered me yeah, pretty much everywhere we've been. Like, we want to say, the, these local places are better than McDonald's, you know, because, you know, M- McDonald's doesn't need our endorsement. I don't, you know, I'm not trying to get arrogant and say that local places do, but I would like to think that they would benefit from it. But I can't bring myself to say, oh, yeah, the fries at such and such local place are really good when they're just not. They're, they're not. always either stale or soggy and limp. It's the, the it, they just. The, I don't see why they can't just get fries right. Yeah. The only the, there was a place that I knew that did like um, these special boxes with like holes in the top. Yeah. And it lets the steam out, so it keeps your fries actually crispy or crispier. Because if you get them covered in like cheese sauce or whatever, then it doesn't really matter. But yeah, it, it, and I feel like. Because you've got because it's an open top of fries and McDonald's, they stay like they they keep their structure better Ooh. because the steam just escapes through the bag. You know, you get your bag from the drive through, you throw you throw it on your passenger seat. We all do it, and the steam just escapes, so the the fries don't go soggy there and then. Well, even even if you're in town drinking or something, and you you go to I, I don't know one of the chicken shops, mm. and you get fries, they're, they're still not good. You, you no. need them open while you wait for the bus. They're, they're still not good. Yeah. They've still never been good. So, like, I, I, I understand that. Like, I've it's been... a shame, really, because fries. Sometimes you know, I don't. I don't eat a lot of fries or chips personally, no. and even even when I'm not on keto, it's like I don't eat a lot of fries. Not my favorite thing, or a lot of chips either. And it's like, but sometimes you think I really it'd really make a meal if there were just yeah. some really great fries. Yeah. I mean, I think in the last few years, they've got, like, generally fries have got better because we're getting better seasonings and stuff. Like, you know, even, even just, like, peri-peri salt, red salt, that kind of thing, you know. It's it's quite common now, and it's it's not it's not the best, but it's better than just plain salt. Yeah. You know, so they have got slightly better, but I feel like there's just so much more people could do with fries or chips. I don't see that it would make anything any like much more expensive no, places that are now starting offering like loaded fries with like cheese and bacon and stuff like that it, it's better but there's some well, places that say they have just got cheesy i hate cheesy chips man they're the most awful thing i don't get what people's like you know obsession with the mints how many people do you hear go oh yeah i love cheesy chips and i just think they're rubbish because yeah. it's just like rubbish plastic plasticky rubbery 
Crap cheese. I'm not say crap, are I? Yeah, uh, you have done now, so. <laughs> we believe all our swear words. <laughs> um, yeah, I and mean, they're just rubbish. And I, yeah, I just don't get them. Like, they always come and, you know, my girlfriend loves cheesy chips, and I tell her all the time, they get delivered, you open the box or whatever, whatever, box diary or whatever. And it's just like soggy chips under horrible cheese, man. Yeah. Uh, as and it's a shame because like I say chip, chip, you know chips don't always or fries don't always make a meal but I feel like if they were that good yeah there's there's been it, it's a shame that like whenever we order kebabs or something if, if we order say a special kebab and it says it comes with fries it's a shame that we, we just you know especially the, the videos I've been doing on my own when, when yeah. I've on delivery over the last few months when I've been ordering things I've just made the assumption that the fries are going to be terrible and no one so far has proven that wrong I've, I've tried the fries I've been like yeah and it shows as well because YouTube is such a there's that many different people watching different videos all the time it's, it's kind of it's kind of like Reddit in a way people will pull you up if you're wrong if you're wrong yeah but not one person has said you're always wrong about the chips yeah yeah. So either people don't care about chips because normally they're that rubbish, or you're right. Yeah. Well, w when I go to McDonald's, I'll pay extra for a meal and get the fries because I like the fries. But w when I'm going somewhere else, I'll only get the meal if it's like the same price or 50p more and I want a drink anyway. Yeah. I've been getting the meals when I've been doing the delivery videos because you need to spend a certain amount to get it delivered anyway. And it's like, well, we'll, we'll review the chips because I want to find somewhere with good chips. Yeah. But so far it's been a case of, you know, you look at the price of this meal, um, you pay an extra pound for a meal and it comes with a cookie and a drink and the chips. Just pretend it doesn't come with the chips. Yeah. When you're assessing whether it's good value or not, don't take chips no, into consideration. No, I, no, yeah, I think it's, it's not something that, I think it's just, that's not even something I've found just doing more food reviews like, you know, for YouTube. It's just something I've always, well, I've just felt for a while. Yeah, yeah. You know, so we'll put that in the title, Chip Ram. <laughs> do as well, when we do have plans to do takeaways and yeah. stuff like that. At least we were truthful. Um, uh, yeah, that's something that makes always good. Burger King fries. Uh, a lot of people prefer McDonald's though. But uh, again, we'll. And then KFC fries. Yeah, I think they're in McDonald's. I think Burger King changed their fries. I think they got worse. I think they used to just be like a soggy. Porridge version. This is KFC. Yeah, they changed Donald's as well. Price. Now and then they, they tried thicker and rawer. Yeah. KFC fries. They've changed, but never gotten better. Skin on fries, yeah. which were a bit better, but because they were bigger, there. I found they were generally quite undercooked in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I think that was doing something in between. So something. I don't know if they're bigger, but they don't have the skin on or, or what, but I think that they are de they're definitely better than they used to be. I still don't think they're as good as comparable fast food places. Um, I just try and stick to chicken. I don't know if they are definitely better than they used to be. I think that will probably actually Yeah, I will just finish our food. Um, as we said at the start, we'll... Uh, <laughs> Finish our food because it's, it's cold at this point. We're 17 minutes, nearly 17 minutes in. Um, Freezing. And that's with all the cuts. And that's with driving that and setting up the camera. Um, convenience. We'll just give and um, taste. Yeah. Give, give McDonald's fives across the board just for the sake of having a benchmark. That, that could change in the future yeah. if we end up giving it did change. somebody else well, it's recently so got, much yeah. higher or so much lower we might have to move McDonald's up or we'll down we'll address this properly now the we spoke about we it see it is yeah we spoke about it in the last yeah, video that we did I'll we'll put, put a link up in the yeah. corner but we're, we're not rating things anymore because it's a bit redundant we mentioned it earlier yeah I don't think we need to um, yeah it's I mean you, you can hear the sort of things we're saying here and trying to assess each thing individually like we waffle on long enough without trying to break it down individually and then if we don't break it down individually it's just a number that doesn't necessarily yeah. mean anything. we also had a lot of feedback from people that they weren't actually overly bothered about the nutritional information us talking about it at least which 
He's a fair comment, and if anything, he probably did make the videos longer. So I think just having like the tables and stuff like that, yeah, we still just helps. We still try and mention it when we can, but I mean, you know, pe people say, "Oh yeah, you don't care. You're eating a kebab anyway. Who cares about the nutritional information?" It's like I don't know. Maybe John cares because he's on keto now. You know, it's I, one of them. I, I, I'm, I'm personally, I'm not overly that fussed about talking about them, but. It, but I'm happy, but I'm I'm happy for it to have the information on the screen. Yeah, I, th I don't I don't think we need to stress anything in no. the nutritional information. Like if uh, anyone who is interested can just read it if we put it on the screen or put the yeah. links in or whatever. Convenient, like there's two or three in most towns now. Yeah, it's it's your visitors. You can go to any town or city in the country, and there's going to be a McDonald's. Generally, the few videos we make now on walk are actually drive, much different. Um, so. They're not. I think they're just kind yeah, of that improved in pretty, pretty much every yes. way. But they're more natural. Yeah. And not, not, not to say that our early best. stuff yeah. was... And like we said, five's not a bad score. Scripted no, it's, or uh, it's even a solid score, put very so well thought out. We it's, it's, it's a bit stilted. I think we were, uh, oh, sorry? It's a bit yeah. stilted because we're both so anxious. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah. Um, more videos planned soon. Yeah. Um, Food reviews, energy drink reviews, that'll yeah. probably be the next one. Yeah, uh, let us know and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Probably yeah, cheers. Waffle right. on too much there. <laughs> that ending, didn't I say that I was going to say say the ending and then you did? I can't, I can't remember. Cancel, cancel. Do you hear that? Food reviews, energy drink reviews, that'll yeah. probably be the next one. Yeah, uh, let us know and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Bye. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think I think you were meant to do the ending, but I was I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean I've gotten my one word in the intro wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and then we went we spent a good Did we do the Iron Improve video on the same day? Yeah we did, we come back here to the back. Iron video. Yeah, with the, that's the one with our big arms. Because we're using the camera, <laughs> we've we just put the camera on the, the table, so because we put it on the You'll table... You'll have to float through all the screenshot for anyone, but... Okay, we, we didn't have a tripod or anything, we just put the camera on the table, and then because it's on the table that we're only, we're only a few feet away from the camera, I then had to... It was a 16 to 35 mil zoom lens, so it's 16 mil. It so was here, like basically, we were now yeah. What that does to the perspective is makes anything near nearer to the lens look disproportionately bigger, <laughs> so anything further away. So we're both leaning over the table like this. <laughs> but it looks like our arms like this. It so, yeah, it's just, it's really weird. <laughs> your, your mate Brian commented on it, didn't he? Yeah. Our, our, our mate Brian. Um, and he said, like, the perspective looks really weird. And we're like, yeah. He's not wrong. Like, yeah. Who's the best we've got right <laughs> he's, now? He's right, but we don't know what to do about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then we spent a good, like what, we filmed this and the Iron Brew one maybe between 12 and 3 o'clock, middle of the day, roughly. And then Sean was here till easily 11 o'clock. Yeah, I think it was like... We were setting up the lo YouTube channel with the logos and stuff, I think. I think we got it uploaded about 9 or 10 o'clock and then, At like, night. because I, I needed to learn, I'd never edited a video before, so I'm on, like... Final Cut, trying to learn what to even do. I mean, you can see I'm not even like doing anything. All, all we're doing is just cutting it and trying to remove background noise, but I didn't have any plugins or anything at the time. Didn't have any fonts. We didn't make thumbnails. We didn't do any of that. No. I mean, I'm not saying we put a huge amount of effort into that now, but you there's, know, a, there's a bit more of a conscious effort though. Yeah, like I say, it's, it's, it's all relative. I'm not gonna say like we're pros now, but I mean, I think compared, oh, compared to this, we've come a fair way. Mm. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, at this point, mate, we have no subscribers. No. No, we got we got we got a few on the first day though. We got a few of our mates, and we got uh, your mum. Yeah. <laughs> Big fan. She's not biased at all. <laughs> yeah. We, we, no, I'm, we're enjoying it. Yeah. It can be sometimes hard to get together more recently because of work. And especially we, me because I just after work I just can't be bothered. I think more more recently specifically there's been a few other things going on as yeah. well. 
But yeah, mainly work. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't think we've got anything else to add. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, let, let, let us know if you enjoy this video. Um, we we like doing the odd yeah, special, we, and uh, we, we we wanted to watch this anyway. I said to John a few weeks ago, like because I I'd, I'd watched a bit of it, and I, I said to John, "Have you have you watched our first video again recently since we like started doing it?" He's like, "No, why?" I'm like, "Mate, it's <laughs> <laughs> it's it's terrible. It's you awful. Should watch it." And then John says, well, "Why don't we watch it together and do a reaction for YouTube?" I was like, "Okay." I was about 30 seconds in when I said this, when I asked John that. I said, okay, I'll stop watching it now and I'll, I'll save it. But yeah, it didn't, it didn't, I don't know. And do you know what, as well, I want to say to anyone, anyone who's thinking about starting a YouTube channel, even if it's for the most pointless, or you think it's for the most pointless thing, but it's something you want to do. Yeah. It's like, we're, we're, we're never hoping for anything out of this. No, we're just having a laugh. Exactly, because it's what we did, it's pretty much what we were doing. Yeah. Anyway, just as mates, just getting together, having some lunch, having a laugh. And if, if it's something that you're passionate about and you enjoy, that because th this is what, like, well, when we started, I thought, you know, no, no one's going to subscribe to this, but it, it gives us something to do. And I have always said that it just satisfies creative juices. People yeah. always want to do new things. Yeah. And, you know, media and social media is a big thing. and. I'm not very present on my Facebook and stuff like that. I don't really, and you're not either. I am. It's it's yeah. just the same rubbish all yeah. the time, but that you see. So, and we thought, you know, and I wanted to do something creative, and I think we've. I don't know if we've said this in the past, but I wanted to do something on YouTube for a while, and just couldn't think of anything. Yeah. You know, I've, I'm a, I'm a big fan of cars, and you are now as well. And it's like, but the, the, you know, the YouTube is that saturated and it's like, you know, but they're saturated because these pe the people who are good and big at YouTube with this, it's, they've got access to, to a lot of cars people don't get to see every day. Yeah. No one's going to watch me in an Fiesta ST because there's thousands of people on YouTube already and it's just yeah. like, and we were just like, either access or it's just been done before. And it's like, that's, well, that, that's something that someone said to me recently as well. It's like, well, why don't you review? couple of beers like you like beer you know know a bit about beer it's like well yeah but if i look at who else is on youtube like it, it wouldn't feel fulfilling even though we're not doing it for subscribers or for views yeah. it wouldn't feel fulfilling because i know there's other people on youtube i can watch who have a lot more knowledge and experience and insight than i do whereas when we're doing the, the food reviews i i didn't I didn't get that same impression. Mm. Um, there was reports of the week. Um, that that's my personal biggest inspiration. But yeah. everything he does is is American. You know, he's looking at Chick Fil A and Wendy's and stuff. That's all stuff that we can't do anyway. So it's mm. not like we're competing with him because everything we do is going to be in the UK and mm. everything he's doing is going to be in America. But even if we were, it's like that's still inspiration to me. Um, and I, I feel like we've got. It's it's not a unique insight, but it, it's not something I could find as readily when I'm looking on yeah. YouTube for that sort of stuff. So I thought, you know, that, that that's something we can do. It's something we both like. It's, we both know about. We can both talk about. Yeah. And it's not something that that everyone else is doing. So maybe it will add value to something. But that that wasn't the most important thing. It's just that that's a bonus if we could find something that that yeah. would actually maybe be val valuable. And that that I think is the biggest thing I've learned since we started this. So when we started, it's like, who's gonna to want to watch two fat blokes eating in a car? If you want to watch a fat bloke eating in a car, you can watch Joey's World Tour. But if it's something you like doing and it's something you're passionate about, people are gonna to respond to that. If, if it's something you're passionate about, it's something someone else will be passionate about. Yeah. So what Joe was saying about starting a channel, if there's something you want to talk about or you know about, then just do it because there'll be somebody else out there who wants to hear about it. And there's always varied opinion and you can have different chats with different people. Yeah. And some of it is good and some of it is bad. We can't, we can't not talk about that as well. My favourite thing is talking to people in the comments. Yeah. That's, that's one of my favourite things about the YouTube channel is like, you know, there's people I've never met and... Uh, 
I feel like I know to some extent yeah. because we were talking in the comments all the time. And that, and Which has now evolved into Discord as well. Yeah, yeah, we've got the, the Discord and there's, there's a few good lads on there. There's, it's, oh, yeah. it's nice. No, it's, it's good. I feel like we've made friends even though we've never met any of them. No. It's <laughs> that is right. Yeah. But yeah, I think on that note we will end. Yeah. Um, yeah, waffled. <laughs> There'll probably be some cuts in this video, they'll have to be, it's going to be like nearly half an hour long because for a 17 minute. I think it's going to be longer than that. Yeah. <laughs> but no, just like to say a huge thanks to everyone who's subscribed, everyone who's ever commented. Um, we do enjoy it. Even, even the negative comments because they're just funny. <laughs> some, yeah. Some of them. People just either don't get us or just... It just shows people have an opinion. People can watch fifteen seconds of your first ever video and develop an opinion of you, and you you know, and it's completely wrong because they just don't know you. But it's funny. Well, if, if, like it's it's not even necessarily wrong because it's an opinion. It's like if they if they think we're a pair of fat losers, then it's like lovers, lovers. <laughs> <laughs> That's the what? <laughs> but you know, it's like yeah, I, I I I don't mind the negative comments because it's like. You, you're not yeah. taking anything away from what we're doing by like commenting this. It's like that there was there was a negative comment on the the Pepper Army video, and it's like, am I am I going to listen to a negative comment from someone who's like the, the saying I've got no life or whatever? When it's like you're the one who searched for a half hour video <laughs> of Pepper Armies. <laughs> I, it's mad, it's mad, isn't it? It's just mad. People say stuff without thinking. It's mad sometimes and it's mad. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh, and never be afraid to say it's time to end and then don't end. Yeah. Don't, don't ever worry about that. We've done it that many times. <laughs> this turned off as well. Is that screen recording stopped? I hope that's recorded. Oh, no. But yeah, we'll, we'll end the video and worry about that later. Yeah. But yeah, huge thanks to everyone who subscribed again. And thanks very much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Happy birthday, Eva! <laughs> Happy birthday to us. <laughs> <laughs>